David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Uh, it might not seem that different around here, uh, but for me it's a little bit different. I've totally revamped my office and moved things around, uh, and I'm actually facing a different way than I normally do. So it's just a little bit disorienting, but I think I can power through it. Uh, I'll be featuring this uh, renovation here in an upcoming video, so look forward to that. Uh, today, I have for you something that I feel is pretty cool, and it's one of the latest releases from Bennu. Um, over the last year or so, Benno has began producing a number of their pens with hand-painted accents. Um, I've featured a number of them here on my channel, the most recent one being Le Petit Prince. Uh, what has started out as Bennu having a bit of artisan flair on models uh, has morphed into something a little bit more, which has been nice to see. Uh, over the holidays, they came out with a number of hand-painted winter and Christmas-themed pens, which were really nice. But what I have for you today is something that I feel is the best of the bunch in regard to the artisan direction they've been going lately. It's my favorite artisan pen they have produced, and that is a model called Beam Me Up. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Bennu for providing the pen you will see today for review. It arrives in this standard Bennu box. Uh, inside we have a couple of things. There is a cardstock sleeve which has the pen. There is a standard international cartridge, a use and care guide, and then also some shredded paper. All of the Bennu pens come uh, in a little nest. And then, like I said, inside the sleeve we have a pen. This is the Bennu Beam Me Up. Uh, the pen is based off of their Euphoria model, which is a decent sized pen. Um, it is made from resin, and as the name would imply, this pen has a space theme. Uh, let's get right into what I feel is the coolest aspect of this pen, which is the hand-painted artwork. Uh, there is a lot going on here. There are a number of hand-painted elements. Uh, there is a rocket, there's the sun, uh, there's like a red meteor, uh, there's a red planet, there's a little green alien, uh, there's Saturn, and then even a spaceship with a cow and its tractor beam. Uh, while I like this artwork, what I care for even more is the underlying resin. There are a couple of different elements at play here. There is, first of all, this confetti. I know that's probably, you know, not a technical term of what it's called, but it's like a glittery confetti, which Bennu has often used in their pens to add a bit of flair. Um, these do a good job of emulating fields of stars in outer space. What I like even more, though, are these more wispy elements, which do a fantastic job of giving the materials some needed depth. The hand-painted elements don't just sit there flat on the exterior of the barrel. They're interwoven in the material in a way I haven't previously seen. The artwork doesn't feel flat or one-dimensional. There's a vibrance and life as well as playfulness to it. Um, with this being a hand-painted piece, the actual artwork on the pen you receive, should, if you should purchase one, could potentially be slightly different. I believe the individual artistic elements are the same, like each pen will have a spaceship with a cow and a little green alien, but the one on your pen might look slightly different than what's on other pens. Uh, such is the nature of hand-painted artwork on pens. Uh, that's what you really want, though. You want to have something unique, uh, quite unlike any other pen out there. In regard to the name of this pen, though, uh, it references a phrase from the original Star Trek television show. Now, a common fallacy is that the quote is, beam me up, Scotty. Uh, that exact phrase was never actually uttered in the show. Now, there were other variations of it, like beam me up, uh, beam me up Mr. Scott, or Scotty beam us up, but not the phrase that folks think they remember. Uh, this phenomenon is called pop culture osmosis, uh, where a misquote becomes more well-known than the actual quote. Uh, similar to the Star Wars quote from Darth Vader, uh, it isn't, Luke, I am your father. The quote is actually, no, I am your father. Anyways, I'm glad that Bennu didn't fall into this trope trap uh, and name the pen after a quote that really didn't exist. Uh, and I am proud of myself for coming up with that phrase like trope trap, which is just fun to say. Okay, 
I realized this review is a bit out of order compared to normal, but I wanted to feature this artwork right at the top. Uh, in regard to the parts of this pen, I mentioned this previously, but uh, it is made of resin. Uh, both the cap and the barrel are faceted, and this is a decent sized pen. There are 10 facets on each, making this a decagon. Let's start by taking a look at the top of the cap. The top is slightly rounded. There is some sparkly elements under the surface of the cap. Um, I like that on this pen, those elements feel like they are uh, at a bit of a physical depth in the material as opposed to being right at the surface. Um, this will probably vary from pen to pen, but on this particular model, there really wasn't much of that flare on the remainder of the cap. That was just like one little fleck that I could see there. Uh, then we have the clip. Uh, Bendu pretty much uses the same clip on each of their clipped pens. It works well, and it accommodates materials of varying thicknesses very easily. The cap angles up until you reach a flat portion comprising the last three quarters of an inch or so. On one of the facets of this portion, it has the name of the company in a silver lacquer. Uh, there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which tapers down at a fairly even rate of decline. Uh, past the aforementioned artwork, and then at the end of the barrel, like the top of the cap, it is slightly rounded. The cap twists off in two and a quarter rotations, and underneath we have a number six Schmidt stainless steel nib. Uh, the nib is available in either fine, medium, or broad. Uh, Benno also gives you the option of, uh, at an extra cost, purchasing an additional nib so you could switch out between them if you should show choose. Something interesting you could do is pick up an additional broad nib uh, with a bit more tipping and you could have a nibmeister give you a cool grind. Uh, that would be kind of fun as opposed to just trading out two standard nibs. Just an idea. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is a bit on the long side. It begins with a flare and angles up slightly until you reach the plastic threads. Behind the threads, there is a straight portion before you reach the angled step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, I do care for the length of this section. I prefer my sections to be just a bit thicker, but this one isn't so thin that it annoys me. Uh, and then there is a lacquered exterior on the barrel so that you don't feel any of the painted elements against the uh, interior of your hand when you write. The cap does post. It does post securely. Um, posting isn't my favorite look for this pen. It kind of looks like someone wearing a hat that's too large for their head. Um, on top of that, it covers up a fair amount of the artwork, which is what you really want to see here. So I prefer to use this pen unposted. And it's nicely balanced when you do so. This is a cartridge converter pen. A single standard international long cartridge is provided, as well as this converter. With there being no metal in the section housing and the barrel being a single piece of resin, uh, this would be a pen that would be capable of eye dropping. Um, I still would recommend you add some silicone grease to the threads though. Now, this pen is not a limited edition, uh, but it might be uh, have some limited availability. Uh, Bennu plans to make this pen available for a few months, perhaps longer. However, they want to uh, kind of rotate pens in their artisan lineup as often as possible, replacing older models with newer ones. This way, they're able to introduce new models frequently without kind of overwhelming customers with an extremely wide product line. So this pen may or may not be available in a year or two. So, like I said, this is not a limited edition, but it might not be around forever. Uh, the Bennu Beam Me Up is only available through the Bennu website and retails for $280. I'll put a link to it in the notes below where you can check it out. Now, the standard Euphoria models without any additional artwork sell for about $150. So the additional cost here is because of the custom hand-painted artwork. Um, I feel that that premium isn't out of line, especially for something like this pen, where there's a significant amount of work that went into the artistic elements on the barrel. Um, I mentioned this up top, but uh, this is my favorite hand-painted Bennu model that they have produced. Um, I love that they are releasing models with more intricate and interesting and even whimsical artwork. Um, it's a nice progression for the company, especially when they make unique hand-painted pens uh, available for what I feel is a reasonable price. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample.
Here we go with some size comparisons for the Benu Beam Me Up. I wanted to give you another look at some of these elements in here. I really like the rocket there. Um, I think the cow in the spaceship is kind of funny. Um, Saturn looks really neat. And as you can see, I, I really like these wispy elements and then how they play with the uh, more kind of flarish elements. Uh, and combined, it just makes for a really, really nice look that has tons of depth and life to it. Uh, I just think it's really well done. Uh, in regard to a couple of other Bennu pens with some hand-painted elements, uh, this was the La Petite Prince. Uh, this one was based off the Euphoria model as well. Uh, this is another one. This was called the Polar Lights. Uh, and this one glows in the dark, kind of has an Aurora Borealis look to it. Uh, and then one of the very first ones they did was called this, uh, this is called the Golden Flame. And I just really like how the material in the resin play with that. And when you uh, kind of twist it around, it almost looks like the fire comes to life. Uh, but this one was based off of a different model. And in regard to some non Bennu pens, here it is with an Opus 88 demonstrator, a Diplomat Arrow, and here it is with a Lamy All-Star. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, here it is with the All-Star and the arrow, and then here it is with the Opus 88. So here we go with the writing sample for the Bennu Beam Me Up. And this is a broad stainless steel nib and the ink I'm using, since this is a space-themed pen, I wanted to use a space-themed ink, which would be Colorverse. And this is Extreme, E-X, it goes lowercase e, and then a capital X. Deep Field. This is what the ink looks like. It's a really nice kind of deep blue black that has a bit of a red sheen to it, if you can see it there on the uh, camera. Uh, this is what it looks like in regard to Diamine 1864 blue black, uh, as well as the Monteverde blue black. I think both of these have a little bit more bluer elements into them, but they don't quite have the, uh, the sheen that the Extreme Deep Field does. This is what these 65 milliliter bottles look like. I've always liked Color Versus uh, bottles. They look really cool with the kind of teardrop design uh, and that you can uh, get just about any nib in here. So I like the design of these bottles. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this broad nib does lay down a rather thick line. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of line variation there, but it is laying down a rather decent amount of ink in regard to reverse writing. Uh, it's a little scratchy and a little hit and miss, so I wouldn't say that's the strength of this particular nib, but in regard to some fast writing... The feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Bennu Beam Me Up. Like I mentioned, this is uh, one of my favorite pens of theirs that they've come out with, with these artistic elements. Uh, I think that it's something reasonably priced and well worth checking out. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.